This is Twit. So the, um, the the mission, the vision of Nextcloud is to be like a completely free open source alternative to uh, most of those cloud services out there. I mean, um, everything started like a few years ago, still at own cloud at the time, as uh, something that's around files. So you can synchronize files and share files and access the files from all your devices, from your desktops, from your phones, from your tablets and so on. Um, but this is only the beginning. So in the meantime, um, it's more about collaboration and communication, integration with LibreOffice, the document editing integrated into Nextcloud. And there's a lot more. There's calendar and contacts and email and chatting and video calls. So the idea is basically to have a full um, alternative to these big cloud services out there with the main um, differences, uh, which is, first of all, 100% open source. And second, it's on-premise. So you can host it yourself. And uh, so at, at what point does it become self-aware and create Skynet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, are we actually actually experimenting a little bit um, with machine learning at the moment? So I heard that machine learning is like the first step to um, to self-awareness and to killing all humans. But yeah, okay, I hope I, we can avoid it. <laughs> hopefully it won't be blamed on xCloud, we'll put it that way. So... This started originally. You were back uh, working. Was was OwnCloud also your, your project, or were you just a like an employee there? No, I founded I founded OwnCloud, um, and it was um, a nice growth at the beginning. Um, later, there I made some some mistakes. Is the overall setup, um, some external investments, some other things that didn't really work out. And then uh, in the last show, I think I talked a bit about the reasons why the core team and me. So it was not only me alone. The core team uh, basically forked uh, OwnCloud into Nextcloud, and now we mm -hmm. try to do a few things differently or better. I see some new things in there that I don't remember seeing uh, three years ago, and that's uh, uh, Nextcloud Talk. What is that about? Yeah. So um, Talk is a, a new um, extension that's about communication. So it's about chat and audio calling on video calling. So um, the chat feature is can be one-on-one -on -one chat. So you can like in the interface where you click on a other person who is working together with you on a file maybe, you click on the person say chat and then you have a chat session. But we also support like real chat rooms, a bit like Slack. Um, or other chat systems like that, Microsoft Teams, um, where you can have real chat rooms with lots of people and can calibrate and you can share your files into the room and so on. But there's also the audio video calling um, component. So we use WebRTC um, and we have native iOS and Android apps. So you can also do like real call people on your phone um, and you press the person in your address book and the phone rings on the other side. But with the main difference that it's all running on your machine. Um, it's all 100% open source and open protocols, of course, too. 